But this is very informative. I just wanted you to come on here and clear the record because the fans has been roasting you. They say you're the ducking. Fan, the, they say you're scared. Me. They say you're cowards. Listen, listen, you know, listen you, to you, me. Go ahead. I'll tell you what. So why is it that they don't realize that the motherfucker that's, that got him, his handler, is not the one that's capping? When it's he just look at the lies he's telling. He's yeah, telling open yeah. lies, but yeah. I'm the one that's lying. Everything I've said has come to be true. Yeah. All the way down to Boots would not become undisputed for Lady Hearn. He got to call. has come out to be true. Now we good. Everything I said has come out to be true. <coughs> Damn, bro. So I, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, B, I was I'm very surprised at. Eddie Hearn losing his fight to Karen. I mean, losing the first bit to Karen. I'm hearing he only bid at one point five million dollars for this fight. T to me, to me, that's crazy. Like you, you, um, 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 hear me out. You, you, you come on air. You made this big announcement. We signed Jerron Boots in this. Um, Boots is the second coming to Roy Jones. He's pound for pound number one. He's not there yet, but he's going to be this. You, you praise how great he is, but then you don't even bid a high enough number. To win the purse bid for the fight. Now, some people are saying that Eddie Hearn lost the purse bid on purpose. What say you about that? Again, Eddie Hearn is moving like a man. To me, he's moving even with the even with what he's doing to us. Even by him taking his time, it's like me. It's like even how he's taking his time to come back and slander our name. Uh -huh. It's like he's trying to throw mud everywhere, the mud of the fucking water. I don't know what the fuck Eddie got going on. Uh, but it's something else. He got something else going on. He cooking. Eddie cooking something else, or that motherfucker got some mental issues. I'm I'm dead ass serious. So so you, what you're doing is you know you're trying to win the information war because it's obvious that you now you up against a big thing. You know there's a lot lot there's a lot more channels who rock with boots and media outlets who rock with boots more so than they do your son. So it's it's most of the news is going to be. You know, slim. well, well, then what you gotta understand again from the very start, that's what it was. From the very start, mm. when we said we'll fight him, the world turned against us. How dare <laughs> you? Nobody has openly, <laughs> nobody has openly agreed and come out and, and came at booth like we did and said we'll fight him. <laughs> you know what I mean, hey, bro? Hey, so <laughs> I'm laughing because. You got people telling you to drop the Addy. They gonna pull up. <laughs> Shit crazy. Shit crazy. This how we rock in Philly. I bet you won't bring your ass. Hey, look, I bet you won't bring your ass back to Philly like nigga. What? Yeah. <laughs> people crazy, man. Hey man, listen, man, B man, I appreciate you, bro. Um, uh, man, uh, 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 this, this has been very informative. I learned a lot. I also spoke to someone else about the financial situation. What's going on? Um, I won't mention his name because it's between me and that brother. I tell you off air, but um, yeah, man. So um, I get it. I do get it. It's not as simple as no. um, y'all right. scared. Oh, are y'all scared of Boots? Are you terrified of him? Do you know? Do you have nightmares at night thinking that the mere fact of fighting him? Brother, listen to me. My thing is, you go watch any one of Boots' fights. No matter what, no matter what, we're gonna do better than whoever the fuck he fought, hmm. and if we're gonna make a lot of money doing it. Like, what the fuck? What are we even talking? Why would we be afraid of him? We're definitely not being... He's never stretched anybody. You can't name one person that he stretched out. You can't name one person that was motherfucking fucked up and, oh, when he when he left the ass. Not one person. Think, think about it. Yeah, I got to go back. And, I got to go back and look, man. How do you say go that? Back and go look back and when look. you go back and look, you're going to see what I see. Go back and watch. Watch his opponents. Don't watch him. Don't watch him no more. Watch his opponents. And I got. I just remember. I'm gonna send you this uh, thing of B. I'm gonna send you the clip of B fight that same one, Damian Fernandez. Okay. And you will see that B stopped him in the first fucking round. He did exactly. He he took out the trash like he was supposed to do. It's okay to have trash in the ring. I, I always told B this. I said, listen, it's okay to have a bomb ass fight in the ring, but you can't let the you can't let the world know he a bomb. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta take that motherfucker out for that. You gotta take that motherfucker out for that. You can see that motherfucker throw a punch sometime. You feel what I'm saying? I know you see the one on the ESP with that motherfucker hopping around the ring and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go in there and take that. You gotta go in there and take that motherfucker out for he ever do anything. Man, listen, man. I, listen, bro. I appreciate you, man. Um, um, I would love to have you back on.
I love Absolutely, it. Appreciate man, I'm, I'm here, man. You got my number, man. I'm, I'm very easy to find and I'm very easy to deal with, as you see. A lot hey, man, of well, I tell you what. Drop yeah. the Addy. Drop the Addy. We pulling up. We pulling up. Drop the Addy. This, this, hey, this boost in is blasphemy that you've been speaking. We, we, we coming. Well, we, we coming. We just drop the Addy. We pulling up right now. Um, Carla, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, what's up, Coach? This is B from Philly. Um, B from Philly. Talk to me. You say B or D? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, B. B as in Brian. I spoke to you on Sunday. Okay. And um, I told you on Sunday that Brian Norman Sr. wanted $2.8 million. He confirmed it today. That's what he originally wanted. Yes, sir. I got a couple of things I want to say. The first thing I want to say is uh, there's not no side of the street that Booster go to that would pay Brian Norman $2.2 million for that fight because it's not worth it. He's not worth that. It, it, I mean, he can't get that money. It's impossible. And secondly, Eddie Hearn didn't lose the purse big. He let the purse big go because don't nobody want to see Boots fight Karen again. So it's pretty obvious that Boots is going to vacate and move to 154 because the rest of the champions are all outpricing themselves. You asked a good, you asked a good question. You said, where's Bob Aram at? But the question that you should have asked is, the simple question is, he's saying they're $500,000 away. Well, in order for Brian Norman to cross the street to fight Boots, Bob Aram and Todd Rank would get 25% of that's the true. purse. Yeah, that's true. So twenty so twenty five percent of one point seven five coach is four hundred and thirty thousand. So why don't Brian Norman call his promoter and say, Bob, my son is the next Aaron Pryor, <laughs> the next great fighter. We five hundred thousand dollars away. You don't gotta put no money up, Bob. Eddie, you don't gotta put no money up. Boost don't want none of your money. Bob, where is your twenty five percent fee? Where's yeah, your no, fee but, for but, my why, son? Why, why, but, but why would Bob do that though? Because you're saying that this is a big fight, yeah. And if Bob, the promoter believes in Bob, you, right? Bob, no, 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 no. But, but see, but, but, but see, uh, this one, AB, this one, you're missing, fam. Bob never wanted this fight. That's why he didn't. He, he, he that's, that's not something he didn't want. He didn't want that fight. That's what Brian Norman said. Coach, that's my fight. whole point. That's yes, coach. That's my point. Because he don't believe that. He don't believe that. Boots, that boots will lose to him. That's my. That's what my whole point is, coach. Mm. Is that if, if Bob Am felt like Brian Norman was who, who he said who who that said he was, he would do that. He would do that. Abdullah Mason is signed at top rank. If Abdullah Mason right now, who is the truth, who really is the truth, if Abdullah Mason right now could fight Baranchek for his belt, but it was a little bit of money that was separating him, and all Bob had to do was raise 25% fee for Abdullah Mason to go get that belt, he would do it because he believes in Abdullah Mason. He would do it. He would do it. So where's Bob at? This is such a big fight. Why is the biggest promoter on planet Earth not in, not involved in the biggest fight because one it's not a big fight and two he does not believe in Brian Norman Jr. is what the point is he don't believe in them why would the biggest promoter on earth he didn't say one word about the, this potential fight yeah I mean I mean Bob yeah Bob yeah you know Eddie Herbert's gonna be the one to promote the fight so from what I'm learning it's gonna be up to the promoter to be the one to put the put the money up Bob was willing to let yeah, hey, if, coach, if you if you want to fight. Coach. No, no, hear me out, fam. Hey, Coach, you, I'm, I'm, if it was a big fight, why would Bob Aram not want to be involved in, if it was a big fight, Coach? Because it's not Why his, would he not want to be involved in his fighter? It's not his fight. You know, Eddie Hearn is the promoter that wants to make the fight. It's not his fight. He's willing to so, allow his fighter so all, to go across so all, the street. He's not stopping him from going exactly. across the street to fight. But Eddie Fact. Hearn's going to have to be the one to right. cover that. Um, but, you know, Bob, Bob's not going to do so that. All, so, so, all, so all Bob would have to do is wave his 25% fee. Because I heard you, you told me on Sunday, it's only 500000 that's four hundred thirty thousand. Bob Aram got hundreds of millions of dollars. But why would he? But why? Why you don't want to raise a little twenty five percent fee? Why would he do that? So his what, fighter could he... go be great. So his fighter, so his fighter could go be great and bring the two belts back to top rank. That's the point. Yeah. You're 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 telling so great. Call your promoter and say, Bob, do me a courtesy and believe in my son. It's only four hundred thirty thousand. That's what y'all keep saying. It's only five hundred thousand. You got hundreds of millions. Way the 25% fee to my son, the youngest champion in boxing, to go cut another belt and beat Boots and become a superstar, like you keep saying. And so my son could be great. Bob Aaron would hang the phone up on Brian Norman Sr. if he called him and told him to wave the 25% fee because Bob Aaron don't believe in no goddamn Brian Norman Jr. That's what the whole point is. It's only $430,000. That's up right in the fight. Believe in my son, Bob. Believe in my son. It ain't like it's twenty five million. I'll be asking you to put up. It's twenty five percent of one point seven five million. That makes the fight happen. Bob wouldn't do it. You know it. I know Bob wouldn't do it. If it was Abdullah Mason, if the shoe was on the foot, and Abdullah Mason 
to go fight Brand Check for this 135 pound belt. And all Bob had to do was wave that feet for him to cross the street. Bob waved the goddamn feet. Because you know, I know, and Bob, Bob know Abdullah Mason's the truth. He'll go kick Brand Check's ass and bring that motherfucking belt back to top of him. Bob know if he wave that 25% feet, Brian Norman's going to go get his ass kicked. No, I'm not waving that feet. I need that money so I can rebuild you once you get your ass whooped. This is simple. This is not rocket science. Your promoter does not believe in you. Eddie Hearn believed in Boots. That's why he overpaid for the um, Avenesian fight. Boots wasn't worth no $3.3 million. Neither was Avenesian. But he believed in his fighter, so he overpaid for his fighter. He didn't. He didn't pay. He didn't pay. <laughs> he didn't pay Avenesian three point three million. He paid Avenesian the person that. No, he, he paid Boots. He, he paid Boots three point three million. Listen, 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 listen. The problem with y'all fans is y'all think y'all financial advisor and you think you know more than you do. You don't know shit. I just told you, my son. Hey, 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 oh, this is senior. This is senior. This is senior. Hey, what's going on, senior? What's up? This is who I want to talk to. What's up, senior? You exactly who I want to talk to. How you doing, uh, Brian Norman? How you doing, sir? What's up? Who did? How you doing? I'm all right. I got a couple doing? questions for you. What's up? I'm doing good, man. I mean, listen, we fans, you know, we overhyped, but we want to see the fight happen. Why don't you get? Why don't you contact Bob and say, Bob, wave the twenty five percent fee that you normally so, charge? So, so let, 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 let's let's try to get this understood. This wasn't okay. Top, this wasn't top rank situation. This is a pickle. This is yep. a situation where Eddie Hearn is stuck between a rock and a, and a hard place. Why would Top Rank help Eddie Hearn in any type of way whatsoever? What has Eddie Hearn done to help? He will be, he will be listen, helping listen, your son. Listen, he will listen, be helping listen, your son. Listen, 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 brother, brother, listen. Listen to me. What I'm trying to tell you is this is some shit thrown out of left field that's in Eddie Hearn's plan. This Top Rank ain't thinking about this shit. Trying, what you think a a a, a billion dollar corporation or however the fuck whatever they were is supposed to drop whatever the fuck they do? Oh, well, yeah, no, nah, let's do. No, they don't have to get involved with Eddie Hearn shit. Maybe they know what we know. He was full of shit. Listen to me, brother. Listen to me. Listen, I'm let me listening. Let me finish. Maybe they know what we just found out from the start. Eddie Hearn full of shit. He wasn't gonna never put no money up. He never intended for this fight to happen. He put one point seven five up. Wait, B, 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 he B, 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 he put one point seven five up. B, my brother, my brother, you know, brother, you, you, uh, we'll let you talk, fam, but you got, you got to, you got to let the man talk because what it is, you're being very combative. Okay, all right. Just, just, okay. just, just allow him to okay. talk. Bro. Let him talk. Okay, all right. All right. So okay. All, all I'm saying is, if right now, he, he wasn't going to put that money up. He just lost the first bid for fucking two million dollars, and he bid one point five. Why would he at least bid what he was just willing to pay? He wasn't trying to pay no one point seven five. He tried to pay 1.7. And again, you see the lies. He's, you don't know, like I said, you don't know what Top Rank them knows about them anyway. The man is a known liar. He's lying at this particular moment right now. The man said we came back to him and asked for the fight. Action wasn't still available. I'm still alive. I've been on fucking channels every fucking day saying why we didn't take it. He's on the other end saying we called him. Well, when the fuck did this call get made? So you're defending a liar. So this whole thing that we're arguing about is absolutely nothing because the person that's behind the shit didn't want the shit happen in the first place. So you asking me why did not take some? You asking me why did not take some? I'm telling you, this shit was nothing to take. He wasn't gonna do it anyway. So, okay, so I'll let, let you talk. Let me let me speak for a, a few we, seconds. We got we got are a lot of calls saying, calling in, brother. We got a lot of calls. Okay, calling all right. I have, I have, all right, I have a good day. All right, thank you. All right, salute, fam. I'm in on here, bro. Let's go.